having things, we're just not having the things that we you gotta reframe your thinking. Positive vibes, positive thinking. We get to eat chicken. <laughs> It's your girl Laleen coming with another video. So today we're going to be doing a video on what I eat to lose weight. But before we get into that, I want you to understand that I am not a doctor, a dietitian, or a healthcare provider. So before you get in this video, do your own research, okay? Because I did mine and this ain't about you, this is about me, okay? I'm just playing, I'm just playing, not for real, for real. Do your research, don't follow people's advice off of the internet, okay? Because when you hear what I have to say, you probably ain't going to do this anyway. All right, so we're going to get started. What I'm doing, I'm doing my own version i have to emphasize i have to emphasize because there are people who you're not doing it correct i'm doing it my way okay so it's called the protein sparing modified fast okay got it loosely <laughs> okay by lyle mcdonald the rapid fat loss handbook all right and so we follow the instructions in there loosely and then we created an anchor chart the first thing we did we got on the scale i know the scale be lying but we need the scale we need these numbers we need to figure out our weight and we also did our measurements we did our uh, our waist our hips i think they want your neck girl they want to know so we can figure out the body fat and we need these numbers for later we also needed to get the lean body mass that is very important because we're going to be plugging all these numbers over here based on the information that i put in i got the body fat of 31.2 that put me in category two i'm gonna let you know right now i have been in category two the entire time because it's a long window okay it's a long window of uh it's 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 it's, it's it's a wide span, okay? Anyway, so we got category two, um, and it also tells us the protein intake based on our activity level. We will not be doing any working out. We're not doing nothing. We're just going to walk to the car, walk to the back, walk around the school at work, and then going to sit down. We're not doing nothing, okay? Nothing, because I need my math to be correct. The issue that I was having was I was doing – hard cardio i love doing a high intensity cardio on that treadmill having a wonderful time feeling like i'm going to pass out but the thing is that made me want carbs we cannot have carbs so in that i'm not going to be working out i need my numbers i need my math to be correct i need the math right so we're going to do inactive and i did the math uh, lean body mass times uh, the grams per pound and that tells you your protein intake because I'm at 101.6 as my lean body mass 0.9 because we're going to be inactive that gives me 91.44 grams of protein okay now we get our macros over here now the macros are going to be very fluid if you will um, we are going to start at 91 grams of protein but we will be eating until we get full off of protein, okay? Fat, minimal. I would say up to 10 to 15 grams because I take vitamins and you got to take your, uh, your, 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 uh, what, the fish oils or something like that. You got to take that, okay? So that, that'll count, that counts for that, okay? Now carbs, nothing. You will be having absolutely, positively no carbs. There are no carbs in this diet. There's no, you just not having it. I know, I know you probably have none, zero. I put zero to 10 because when I explain some other stuff, you might have one gram, two gram. It's not that deep, but you will not be having carbs. That's so, don't, don't even think about it. You have to put it in your mind. You are not having carbs. You're not eating that. You're not really eating no fat like that for real. You're only eating protein. You should only, don't think about what you can't have think about what you can have and what you can have is protein side note I don't want to forget this okay so the side note that I put on here is you could have just ate your goal weight in protein and called it a day you didn't have to do all this math all right my goal weight is about 125 127 130 grams of protein now am I eating that much I don't know I don't know I'm eating just enough to be full and that's all right we do not want to eat till, like, you know, when you go to your grandma's house, we're not eating like that, okay? We're just eating until we get full. What is she doing? This is meal plan. It says meal plan. It has a smiley face up there. You probably can't see it, but I want you to see this is what's important. Um, breakfast, most important meal of the day because you will be breaking your fast. And yes, you will be fasting. He said you're not supposed to fast, but, you know, 
This is my version, okay? And it's not really a fast, it's just normal. I would've did this whether I was on a diet or not. Okay, so you need your uh, breakfast. I have a protein shake, 25 grams. It doesn't matter, just a protein shake. Then you have something else that's going to really get you through the day. Uh, last week, I had a protein yogurt. It was 24 grams of uh, protein for the scoop and then fat-free Greek yogurt and a little bit of fruit. But you're not having fruit. That's why we didn't have that this week. But I just want to let you know, yeah, you probably have one strawberry and call it a day, girl. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> fruit. You probably get one or two. You That's it. You can't have no sugar. You can't have no carbs. That includes fructose, okay? So you can't have that. Um, today, this week, I'm having, <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm sorry. Okay, so this week we're having protein pancakes. Yeah, that's what we having this week, okay? But other than that, we're not eating nothing, no. All right, lunch, you are having chicken breast. That's it. Uh, snack, you are having protein bar, quest bar. I mean, when I say you, I mean me. Okay, because if you're not doing this, I'm doing this. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm doing this. Okay, so protein bar, it depends. I'm trying these new Power Crunch bars, and they only have 13 grams. They taste good. Now, I like Quest bars. They're great. They have 20 grams, but they also taste like air, you know, and I just... They're not really, I don't know, I don't, they're not enjoyable right now for me. I just, I have to cycle the things out because I'm not going to sit here and act like all of this don't taste like diet food. It does. And it's just not, it's just not a Snickers, you know, it's just not, it's just not, you know. All right. Dinner, you're having chicken breast. That's what you're having. Yes. So when you get that, uh, say you go to Walmart and you get a $12 pack it come in the rectangles uh you take one of those chicken breasts out of there you cut it in half all right that's what i mean a chicken breast and a chicken breast so by the time you eat the whole day you can have a whole piece of chicken yeah out of that pack so technically you know or or until full now keep in mind y'all i am five feet i am five feet even i might be four and eleven and a half i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna say five feet sometime on my driver's license it says five and one but hey we we they, they gave that to me they gave that to me as a as a courtesy but i am five feet so the amount of food and protein and macros that i need versus someone else completely different now being from the south you know, I am eyeballing it because I'm not measuring this chicken out. <laughs> I'm not measuring this chicken out. I'm not measuring it out, okay? I'm eyeballing it. But sometimes my eyeballs are a little different because I'm from the South. And we don't need as much as we think we need. But I am eating until full. So that's what it is. And I have been doing really good with that. We're going to see how I'm, I'm trying to see how much we need. I'm checking it on a scale. I'm weighing myself, I'm tracking my inches, I'm trying to look at all the different variables, all right, to make sure, but the point is, I must eat until full. Um, so yeah, you're probably like, what do you mean by chicken breasts? You will have different chickens, different chicken each week. So, like last week, I had chicken parm. I know, you're probably like, what are you talking about? Chicken parm. Let me tell you. So, sidebar, I had chicken parm. It was baked. Italian seasoning on that chicken, right? But then we took some of that carbone uh, uh, sauce, yes, and then we put that on the chicken, right? Then you sprinkle just a little bit of mozzarella cheese on there, put that in the microwave. <sighs> I mean, exquisite, honestly, honestly, truly. It was delicious, it was. I don't know if it was delicious because it was delicious or because that's what we were eating for the week. And so I had to tell myself that that's what you're going to eat. That was really good. That was really delicious. Juicy. Amazing. Okay. This week, I tried to make a uh, tandoori chicken. We failed. Yes, we failed. And we failed. Okay. And I don't, I don't want to talk about it. So we had to get some sauce from Walmart. Some different sauces. Trying different sauces. Because I'm not going to throw the chicken out. And I got to make it through the week. The goal is to make it through the week. If you can make it through the week, you can do anything. You can do anything, all right? You just got to make it through the week, and then next week you reset with a different seasoning. I might do lemon pepper seasoning next week. I don't know. 
I don't know. We got Cajun seasoning we can do. Can I do any seasoning that will require high fructose corn syrup, maltodextrin, or any of these other things? Now, those sauces that I got does have canola oil in there a little bit, but we only have it a little bit. A little bit. We need to get through the week. So this is the four-year information. Very important information. That's why I said red. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day because if you eat all your protein, most of it, in breakfast time, you can get through the entire day without having to eat anything. Okay, and that's if you can keep your stressors, your triggers, your cortisol inducive activity, conversation, mental energy to zero. Okay, you must stay stress free because I'm a stress eater. I'm an emotional eater sometimes and I'm trying to get out of that. Okay, we're rebuking that, but you must keep the stress low. Okay, I don't know how you're gonna do it. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. I'm praying each day. So I'm not even one. Just keep me near the cross. All right, but if we can get through to like two o'clock, I can get home, have another piece of chicken and then I'm going to bed. Very simple. All right, so lunch and snack are going to be together because when I have my chicken, you need a, a meat, you need a sweet. So that's why we have that together. I usually have that together. And then that will cover, we'll probably be here and here. We already probably, I don't know how much we at, but I'll be full. And sometimes I don't even have to eat when I get home, but sometimes I do feel a little bit of hunger around four o'clock and then I have that other piece of chicken and I'm good for the night. And then I wake up, I need my breakfast. Okay, anyway uh eating eating stops at five okay five to six depending on because you know sometimes i stay after school and different things, you know all that stuff five to six p.m okay i must get home to eat my chicken i must and if there's something that i have to have i need to have another piece of chicken already ready i need to have it ready because you cannot you can't mess up the schedule but the food stops at five to six p.m i would have did that whether i was on a diet or not Food will be stopping at five to six. So the other thing that this is important, I know all of this is important, but this is really important. This right here, this is the hack that keeps me from being insane in the membrane, okay? Electrolytes, mustard, sparkling water, pickles, vinegar, um, and sauerkraut. Just tried that, nice, I like that, okay? These things keep me sane. Good morning, you guys, now, Today is Sunday, okay, and Sunday is meal prep day, okay, Sunday is meal prep day, um, but the thing about it, it's the same thing, you guys, like, it's the same thing, we do the same thing every single time, we're having chicken, uh, a protein shake, and what else, that's pretty much it, y'all, I've been making a chicken, Maybe some lettuce with that chicken, but the chicken is the main part of the diet. So this is my favorite chicken seasoning. Kicking chicken seasoning, right? Then you put rotisserie. You put a little rotisserie chicken seasoning. You put that on there. Oh my God, it's exquisite. It is the best thing ever. Now I don't know how many, what, what's in, it's good. Okay, then you put that on some lettuce, right? Put the chicken after it's cooked on some lettuce. Put you some Subway roasted garlic aioli sauce. Put that on top of it, right? And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. That's cool. You can get you some of this here. Guy Fieri's Flavor Town kicking Chipotle sauce. Get you some of this. Either or. Don't do both. Don't do both. Don't do both. All right, you can do this or that one, and your chicken salad is gonna be hitting for real. Then, if you don't wanna do that, you can mix some of this donkey sauce by him. You can put, I, but I'm not, this is not my favorite. We still got a lot left in here. I have to buy another one, cause this ain't gonna make it through the week. This probably ain't gonna make it through the day, really. Okay, we probably got a little bit left. This is all right, it's, it's heavy. That's how I know. I didn't had this for two weeks. I didn't had all of these sauces for two weeks. And only one of us is empty, almost. So, hook yourself up with this. Now, you probably like, well, how many calories? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's got 16 grams of fat for two tablespoons. I'm probably putting three tablespoons on there. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It only has two grams of carbs, no protein. It's got sodium in there. 
not really concerned with that but it does have the 16 grams of fat it does have the soybean oil blah 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 but you know what it's getting me through it's helping me to choke down that chicken because let me tell you something that chicken can get dry but the way we've been cooking it we've been slow baking it in here for an hour right i don't know how long chicken's supposed to cook i'm gonna be honest with you they sell me one thing, but when I take it out after the time, it do not look like it's cooked, and I can't take a chance. So I cook it for about an hour and 15, an hour, and because I'm cooking a whole bunch of chicken. It ain't like I'm cooking three or four or whatever. I'm cooking enough chicken for the whole week. So we cooking it all in one pan. Put it in there. Let it do its thing. Check on it periodically. But I know it's in there for like an hour and 20 minutes. Have everything all together, already ready. This is really a quick process if you have everything and everything goes according to the plan. So, lettuce. You can do as much lettuce as you want. But at the same time, the lettuce is helping you to eat the, the chicken. You know? Another option, if you don't want to do lettuce, you can do um, green beans. I like green beans. You can do broccoli, chicken and broccoli, but broccoli makes my stomach hurt. So I just do, you're just doing enough. And see, this will carry you the whole week, but that's just like for work. So you might need another bag like if you come home and want to eat something. All right, so I want to show y'all the chicken. The chicken. Y'all, the chicken came out looking really good. Let me show y'all the chicken. The chicken is foolproof, okay? It's foolproof. And then we got another back there, and I was picking at it earlier. So the chicken is really, like, foolproof. I'm going to eyeball it. Two mediums. Two mediums. I'm doing two medium pieces of chicken. One that's a little bit bigger. And then, yeah. So this is what we're doing. Okay, let me show y'all. We got the two pieces of chicken in there. And we just leave it like this. I know you can put some stuff on it. But it's not about the toppings. It's not about all the other stuff. It's about chicken. That's what we're doing. That's the diet. Chicken. Double the amount of protein in the shake. So instead of doing one serving, I want to do two servings of the shake. I think what I was doing, because I was confused. Um, I was doing two cups of almond milk, one scoop of the uh, protein powder. But you're really supposed to do... Uh, one scoop per eight ounces. That's news to me. Anyway, I have my Khalifa Farms. This is my favorite milk. I just want y'all to see in real time, like this is what I do every single time. So one scoop of this, we're gonna do Cinnabon, and I want to taste it really quick because this I never tried this um flavor but i like having a breakfast tasting flavor in the morning Oh, wait a minute. Girl, this is... Yeah. She's clocking in. simple we get these leak proof um tops to go on here i'm gonna be honest with you because i'm gonna cut them up 
I don't like when I'm meal prepping y'all. I don't I don't come back into the kitchen and check on anything for the rest of the week. So it needs to already be ready. We're gonna cut this in half. You know, that's gonna give us another 15. So with the chicken, okay, chicken and the protein. So the protein we're clocking in at 50, right? Then you had your chicken. I don't know how much chicken it is, but I know that's gonna get me close to 100. We don't need a whole a extra 30. We're gonna get it from the chicken. You know what I mean? The other thing is, I don't know. I don't like a lot of those sweeteners they have. Ooh, this looks good. Ooh, God, yeah. I'm not gonna eat this whole thing in one sitting. Well, I could, but I don't, you know, self-control. Self-control, we need to practice self-control, even if it is healthy food. This one kind of hard to cut. All right, that's, that's it. And then we'll have one left over. Okay. Self-control. And we'll determine what else we'll buy. But I like having variety. This is the only variety we get. All of my food is already ready. And all we just grab and put it in there. Grab and put it in there, okay? I'm going to eat a chicken salad now because I haven't eaten all day because I was waiting for them to come. They're actually late. But it's not their fault. It's because I had to reorder and then do rush service because the first order didn't go the way it was supposed to go. All right. But that's pretty much it. In another video, I'll just show you, you know, our progress so far. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.